Hello guys and welcome to Tecmo TV and today I'll be showing you guys how to fix two volumes on startup in Windows 10. So stay tuned. This video will be broken down to three different parts. Timestamp for each of those parts will be in the description below. So there are a variety of factors that could have caused this issue. But the most common one being cloning. This usually happens when you're transferring from a hard drive to an SSD. Majority of the time you use a software to clone everything that's on your hard drive to your SSD. But you forget to unplug your hard drive when you're booting into your SSD. This usually creates a double boot file. Another thing to keep in mind is that you might still have your hard drive and SSD still plugged in. In that case, just reformat your hard drive and that should resolve the problem after that. My recommendation would be to have everything backed up in OneDrive. OneDrive is the secure and the most effective way to have an exact copy of your data. Every time you clone your hard drive, the quality of your data degrades. So having an exact copy of your data in OneDrive keeps the original quality of your data without it degrading. This also allows you to do a fresh install whenever you get a brand new storage device, rather that be a hard drive, SSD, or M2 drive. To do a fresh install, you will need to create a boot drive. Creating a boot drive is simple and very easy. Microsoft provides a tool. You simply install this tool and follow the on-screen instructions. Now to create a boot drive, you will need a flash drive. I recommend getting the Samsung Duo Plus. The reason why I recommend getting this flash drive over many others is because it's USB-C and USB compatible. So you can pretty much use this on every laptop, computer, desktop that's in the market right now. If you're interested in buying this, I will have an affiliate link in the description below. This will help the channel get some revenue and help me make better quality content. Now we get to the fun part. I actually show you how to resolve this problem. It's very simple and it's very straightforward. So let's get right into it. So whenever you log into your computer, you should see an error like this. This could be Windows 10 Volume 7. This could be Windows 10 Volume 10. This could be a variety of volume names. At the end, they're all suffering from the same disease. It does not matter which volume you choose to log into. Just select one and log into your computer. Once you have logged in, I want you to find the search icon. This should be located on the taskbar right next to the windows icon. After you have located the taskbar, I want you to type in run. We are going to be using the run application to locate the system configuration application. The reason for this is because windows makes it extremely difficult to find this application. If you're someone that doesn't know what they're doing, you can seriously harm your machine. So they've intentionally made it very difficult to find it. Once the application has been pulled up, I want you to go ahead and type in msconfig and then click enter. This should pull up an application called system configuration right here. So I want you to go ahead and delete everything that does not say Windows 10 C slash Windows and the name next to it should be current OS default. There could be multiple volumes or there could be a single volume. In this situation, there is only one volume. So you go ahead and right click all the other volumes and just click delete, which is right here. And then at this point, you go ahead and click apply. After that, guys, all you do is reboot your computer and there you go. The problem has been resolved. Well, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys liked the video, please consider subscribing. This video took extremely long time to edit. I mean, I basically have five different shirts throughout the entire video. So this did take an extremely long time to edit. So if you liked it, please subscribe. And the next video, I will show you how to transfer videos from a Mac to a Windows and a Windows to a Mac without needing any wires, without needing any type of flash drive, just purely over your network. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.